up everybody, Max Cavalera here. Igor Cavalera, we're here in the US with Return to Roots store. Yep, we're and, in Chicago. Uh, Chicago today here, and uh, we're gonna show you guys a little bit of our second home, which is like the tour bus, a place that we spend a lot of time when we're traveling and touring. So this is our house for the moment. Well, so here's like the, the heart of the tour bus right now, which is like the entertainment part of it. So we got the beer for the drunks. Every night this gets all drank by uh, Mark Rizzo. That's and, it. And, yeah. That's yeah. pretty much it. That's him Mark all Rizzo. the way. He does all that stuff. Tony a little bit. Tony a little, a little, a little bit, but not much. He helps yeah. a little bit. And then of course, we have the satellite, which unfortunately some places on the tour, it doesn't pick up the signal like today in Chicago is not picking up because of the buildings or whatever. Of course, we have a Wi-Fi the whole time we're traveling, so we can keep up with emails and, and stuff like that. And then... That works okay. Yeah, and also we put some music through here, like plug our iPods and things like that so we can listen to some... Uh, <coughs> learn some songs if we need you and things like that. So this is like the entertaining side of it. That's where we chill. We got a little cooler here. Yeah. Bunch of things for the for the kids. Put ice in here and it, a lot of times we have guests, you know? We have friends from bands that come uh, everywhere we play, you know? So a lot of times we have guests that come in the front lounge and, and hang out with us. So it's nice to have, be able to give them, offering them drinks and stuff, you know? And we also do the meeting greets here after the show. We, yeah. we bring fans. Uh, they get to sit down here and hang out with us for a little bit. We sign their poster, we sign their shit, CDs, whatever they got. And then uh, we take a picture and they get to see it inside the tour bus, which is pretty kick ass. A lot of them have never seen one, you know, so it's pretty awesome. I think for them, it's, I can see the reaction. They get pretty excited. All right, so this is my, uh, my territory here where usually I'm uh, on my computer. Like I'm gonna do some uh, drumsticks for later on tonight, which I put this uh, protection thing for my hand. And, but usually I'm just sitting down here chilling, you know, since it's it's a bit hard not having much space to move around. So I kind of like pick this, uh, this little area here and that's where I do most of my business all day. And then if the TV's working, I'll, I'll watch a movie or some shit. But usually I like watch. to watch on the satellite, I like uh, the Vice channel. It has a lot of really cool, interesting stuff. And then, of course, like we watch the news before we go on, so we get pissed off at Trump. So we can get like really angry before we go on stage. <laughs> and then sometimes we watch some sports too, for laughing matters. Especially laughing at the at the Lions, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my loser team, what the hell. <laughs> but I'm a real fan, I'm not, I'm not switching. I'm a plastic fan I'm here, hardcore, man. I'm yeah. gonna go all the way to the end. I might be 90 at the time they win one, but they will <laughs> win a Super Bowl. Mark my words, USA. <laughs> you gotta have it, right? Junior Mints, hot cocoa. Who the fuck drinks this shit? No, they bought it just because it looks cool. Just because it looks cool. Maybe, maybe someone's oh, trying to get in my endorsement. Uh, that's Igor, man. Yeah, that's my secret weapon that's here. Weapon. That's, a, that's his drug. That's my drug yeah. here. It's a, as, a, as a half Italian. Nutella was introduced to me when I was a little kid by my dad, and I'll take this shit to my grave, man. I, I love eating this with bread before, you know, like, when I need to snack something, Nutella is the one. It give me some energy, too. That's, that's some powerful Italian shit. Here we go. Ooh. Black metal frosted flakes. Yeah, look at that. It's Abbott. Abbott. Abbott flakes. Abbott frosted flakes. Actually, we do this because we have a rule in the bus. If it has your name on it, and then usually you leave it alone. If it doesn't have a name, that means we bought for the, everyone in the bus to <laughs> share. But then you, when you buy something personal, then you're like, oh man, this is my shit. So you, you write your name on it, you put your mark. So if you see someone taking, you're allowed yeah. to punch them in, the, in yeah, the back. Oh yeah, touch this and die Yeah. type situation. At home, I like to, in Brazil, we used to play this game called War. And war is kind of, I think America is risk, right? I think it's the, the similar version. The version. But it's not the same. War kicks ass. War, it's pretty much a, a world war game that you just try to control the whole world with your armies. And there's like, you know, different colors of armies, you know, black, green.
green, and white. And it's cards and, uh, and dice. It's cards right? and dice, man. Yeah. And, and man, we usually have games that would go for 10 hours. You know, it was like seriously all metalheads playing in my house. And that was so fun. And then with my kid at home, I play a lot of uh, Monopoly. We, uh, we we collect a bunch, so we got, I must have like about 30 uh, different, mo I want to get the Game of Thrones Monopoly to play with him, you know. Hopefully There's an the Arsenal States. one. There is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's football teams, yeah, all kinds of stuff, yeah. They're doing all kinds, I mean, in Europe, they even have a, a, a rock, a, a Soulfly rock game, one guy did, uh, called Rock Science, and it's all questions about music, metal, you know, you can like test your knowledge of bands and, and shit like that. Pretty cool. Shit. This is the schedule, this is the tour, it's kind of a short one, uh, it's only a month. Uh, normally we go on and we tour a little longer than that, but this was the time we were allowed to have on this tour. Uh, but it's pretty kick ass, you know. It's, so you can see it started in Las Vegas, uh, the Hard Rock Hotel. And here it has the distance 450, 600, 500, 250. And we're all the way here. We're so kind of like a little, little more than half done now. We go to, we go to Kansas City, Denver, Salt Lake, Billings, Day Off, Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, and Santa Ana. This is the tour. This is the daily shits. This is kind of cool. I actually uh, help write some of those. Uh, it's kind of my day job. Um, it's a lot of fun. I like doing it. I don't mind. It's pretty cool. It just tells the information um, of the day, what's going on. See, your interview is here. Tour Buzz Vision with Max and Igor. Small buyout. I don't know what that means actually. Yeah, it, it means we're on a diet. That, <laughs> yeah. That's what it means right there. Like, they're like, you guys are getting too fat. So yeah. we're, we're going to have a small buyout for you Small buyout. Yeah. Translating, that's pretty much it. Then have the, the locals. There's yeah, like two local really bands. Cool. I don't know them tonight. I haven't heard of them. We had a couple of really good ones on this tour. And then the Mighty Full of Hell gets on the stage at 815. One of our favorites. Great, great grindcore. Best grindcore in the world. And then the Mighty Immolation gets on the night. 9.45. And then the old farts. And then the, the old stage. farts hit the stage yeah. at 10.15. 10 15. You see there's no time to end. That means we can play all night. And we're gonna play all night today. It's gonna be a 10 hour set. Yeah. <laughs> Here we have the, the good old microwave. No babies in there? No, that's all good. Yeah. So, coffee, also another item that it's a survival for, for any tour. Ah, very important. Wait, wait. Oh yeah. Candy drawer. Candy drawer was invented, I think uh, Gloria invented that on a couple of tours ago. It has become a hit with grown ups and kids, but mostly grown ups. Yeah. But also when there's like some of the kids come in and, and they were like, man, this tour bus is really kick ass. That's the, the, their favorite part. That's, that's it. That's, that's it. the candy drawer. Yeah. And then, of course, like the coffee machine to keep us awake all day. Uh, I'm an espresso guy, so I have to say I'm not a big fan of uh, this style of coffee. So usually I go out and buy my own espresso, but this is okay too. We got the good old fridge here. Got a couple things. We had a lasagna yesterday from the venue. We kept it in the fridge. Again, some of the shit had names on it. That's Andres, Mark's guitar tech. Uh, mine here that I have every day. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Coca fucking cola. Um, addicted to this shit, cannot stop drinking. Try it ten times, fail ten times. I don't know, Igor, you got some here? Uh, usually later on I put some uh, ener energy drinks for before the oh show. Yeah, the Red Bull, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we put some like, of that shit too. Me and Igor, we have this ritual that we yeah. drink Red Bull before the show. Yeah. We both gotta have it. It's like our drug. Yeah. We kick it together. And here's also a, another part that it's a bit surprising. Max's, right? This is my my favorite ice cream. Ben and Jerry's Caramel Sutra Core. Shit is fucking insane. Yeah. So yeah. good. I also do this in the morning, like, which is some uh, frozen fruits. Throw in the blender here. That's a lifesaver in the morning for me. So you can judge who's the healthy one and the unhealthy one. Like make your own conclusions. <laughs> Pretty much easy to 
see. Did Kenny just came out of there? No, no. <laughs> well, actually, there's a rule for for a tour bus that you're not allowed to do the number two. It's only for P, and then when you need you, you want you to talk, usually the bus driver, you find a truck stop. There's been a few cases where people, phantom poopers, use this, and also some people use their bag. They use a bag and, and threw it out on the road. So I'm not, I'm not gonna use names. Not in both. Yeah, so there you go. Guilty, guilty, guilty. as charged right here, bro. <laughs> some emergencies, you gotta, you gotta go, you gotta go, and then you, you, you toss it most of the time, toss it on the roof of the bus, <laughs> and just, you know. You're gonna drive. It stays there, right? It stays there. You're yeah. gonna drive and eventually I'm gonna fly gonna, somewhere. It's gonna go somewhere. <laughs> Where is a mystery? <laughs> All right, sleeping accommodations. Tony's bunk. Yeah, all the porn. Hide the porn. Yeah. Drugs. Yeah. Address, right? Address, yeah. All the gay porn in this, this bunk. Yeah. Mark Burr. Burr. Uh, the Salman. The Salman. Then Kenny. Kenny. Check this out, dude. You don't shit this shit every day, right? That's some Darth Vader shit. Yeah, but he's also like a big motherfucker. I don't know how he fits in here. He's like, <laughs> he's fat as fuck, so that's his bunk. I don't he's know how. He's got sleep apnea, so yeah. that's why he needs a mask. We call him the bear, you know? Big bear. Here's a spare bunk where a lot of the luggage gets thrown in. Oh hey, shit, oh, look shit. at that! Oh shit! Look at that! Oh yeah! See, we found one. <laughs> we found a live one. Found a live one. Yes, that, that, that was perfect timing. This is a storage kind of bunk that has stuff for the tour that we got. This one we're gonna give out later today for the meeting greets. Yeah. Special post. They get they get to take one of the babies home. It's really cool. And then the red bull back there. Every now we get some red bull. Well, that's this is uh, me and Gloria's room. We we hang out most of the time, and uh, she works on this side. That's all of her work right there. Um, you want to talk about some of the stuff you got here? Uh, let me see. Secrets. Secrets. These are all my Secrets. supplies. Use these all day long. I do endless book work, files for the accountant. Money. <laughs> Money. Money. For the bank. <laughs> My Lodi Kong CDs to yeah. give to the press people. Some edibles. Oh shit. And my beloved red chili sauce. <laughs> this is my side. As you can see, it's more messy, more chaotic. Um, here you got, I've been actually recording today, doing some writing for Killer BKO, next record. We're gonna go from this tour, hopefully right to, to get to uh, jamming and then to the studio. Uh, so I've been doing some, some of that, so I got like pedals here. I got this Digitech. I got the drum machine that I use. All this stuff is probably 15 year old too, and it still works like magic, it's so cool, man. And I get to bring this all, all on tour. I got this Rammstein phone that my friend gave me in Germany, which is so kick-ass. They made by Bayer Dynamic, my favorite headphones. And uh, yeah, this is straight out of the 80s. This is called Fag Bag. This is the Fanny Pack. We used to wear those in the Sepultura days. It was mandatory. Everybody had to have a Fag Bag. See, this is the look. This is the 80s look, right? Yeah. With the fag, fag bag. bag. You gotta have the fag. Fag bag from Argentina. <laughs> I bought these in Uruguay for like ten dollars. <laughs> ten dollars was sweet. This is my guitar. This is the new one I designed. I've been using. It's a, it's a new ESP called Reaper. This is the Reaper One model. This is a badass guitar. I designed it in. Uh, as you can see, it's a mix of the old Explorer. Right here is kind of an Explorer, and here is kind of a Warlock. Those are two of my favorite guitars. Was the, the, the Explorer, the Gibson Explorer, and the BC Rich Warlock. So I put them in, a, in one and made each one guitar. So that came out pretty sweet. All right, metalhead.
heads everywhere, brothers and sisters of metal. Max and Igor here. We're very, very happy to give us, give you the tour of our home on wheels. Uh, yeah, thank you for checking out our uh, space, our yeah. bus, our tour bus, and uh, happy you guys should get to share a little bit of our of our inside life and. Uh, Hopefully to see you guys soon on tour. Like yeah. me and Max are gonna be super busy this year. Uh, I'm doing different projects like uh, my own like Mix Hell, So Wax, and of course Max has a lot of stuff on the on the way. Yep, we can work on a little uh, Killer BQ new record, Cavalera new album. Yep. Hopefully later on uh, some Soulfly new music also coming your way. But I want to thank all the fans that came to this tour, which was great. This Return to Roots. Yeah, it means a lot. Full Ohio emulation. It was packed everywhere, insane shows like the New York show made our, it, it, that, it makes our life, man. You know, we we don't have enough words to to describe how great the feeling it is playing a record that's 20 years old and having this kind of such a great great response from our fans is the the best feeling in the world. So I want to thank you all of you that came on the tour and party with us, and we'll see you in the future. Stay metal.